Hey, 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 how are you? I hope you're doing well today. I want to talk with you today about time. That crazy thing that seems to mold and change and sometimes it goes fast and sometimes it goes slow and it never seems to be what we want, is it? <laughs> so let's talk time. My name's Heather, welcome. If you are new here, new to me, um, I am the owner of HD Transformations. I am a personal trainer, nutrition, and lifestyle coach. And I make it my mission in life to help female leaders prioritize self-care without sacrifice. Time. I had this conversation with my son the other day, and that's what made me think about it. You know, we always have this perception of, you know, Things go faster than we want. I actually just said to someone the other day, I can't believe it's already almost summer, like the beginning of summer. I feel like winter just flew by for me this year. And then there's other times it feels like it drags on for eternity. Have you ever noticed that when you're doing something you really enjoy, time flies? Yeah, that saying time flies when we're having fun. And then when you're doing something that's not quite so fun, it can feel like hours and days just never come. It's just like Groundhog Day every single day. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason for that is in our brains. And our brains love dopamine. They just gobble it up. And when you're doing something fun, something that makes you feel good, it's firing out all that dopamine like, like a fountain. <laughs> but when you're not, it's not. And guess what it wants when you're not, when it's not getting it, it wants some of that dopamine. So it says, Hey, let's stop doing this miserable thing and let's go do something fun. So we have to master that. We have to control our own brain. This is where that conversation with my son came in. He's about to enter high school and He's starting to notice that, you know, people are talking about how fast it goes and how fun it is and how sad they are when it's over. And he's like, why, why are people sad when it's over? You know, and I explained to him that when you're in it, when you're in high school, as long as it's a pleasurable experience, which for me, it was, um, it's fun. You're learning how to drive. You're dating. You're doing all these cool things. Hello, dopamine flying off the handles, right? And then it ends. And maybe you go to college and maybe you have a whole bunch of fun. And so that's awesome. Or maybe it's just done. And now you're supposed to like adult. <laughs> and then you just miss those, those more fun days, the happier days, whatever. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It got me thinking about that. What was your, what is your perception of time lately? Is time going fast for you right now? Is life really good right now? Or is every day a battle? Does it feel like you are fighting to get through every single minute of the day? If you're fighting we need to find you some dopamine. <laughs> we need to fix it, right? It's not, it's not nice to live in that world, is it? So we all search out that quick fix, that magic potion, the secret workout, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> to get you feeling good, to get you loving life, to get life going fast and having fun. The problem is, is it doesn't work. For example, you're really dehydrated, really thirsty. You could dump a bucket of water on your head. Can it solve the problem? Doesn't solve the problem. You could stick a fire hose in your mouth. That would get a lot of water down your throat really fast, wouldn't it? But does it solve the problem? We have to find solutions to the problems and we have to diligently take it step by step and make it happen. That's how you get to feeling good. That's how you get the dopamine flowing. 
you can't do it all at once. But what if you never start? What if you never start? Let me ask you this. If you were in the camp of not feeling so great and life doesn't feel so good, what if you don't start doing something else? Life isn't going to get any better anytime soon, is it? How many more years? How many more months? How many more summers are you going to go through not feeling amazing? Wishing you could lose weight. Wishing you had more energy. Wishing you weren't so stressed out. Time is not slowing down. It keeps going. It keeps going. And as we get older, it seems like it speeds up, doesn't it? Pretty soon you're going to turn around and it's going to be five years, 10 years down the road. And if you didn't start, you're going to have gone all that time feeling like crap. Not looking the way you want to look. Not being able to do the things you want to do. Is that what you want? I don't think so. Certainly not what I want. I get up every day trying to figure out, okay, what's next? What's the next thing I can do to make my life and my body that much better? So I'm going to tell you about four steps for you. So grab a piece of paper, write it down, jot it down in your phone, in your notes, something. Write it down. First one, start small. Don't try to change your whole life all at once. It's not going to work. Don't decide you're going to go run a marathon tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Start small. What I mean by that is if you are looking to be healthier, pick one thing. Maybe it's something small, like I'm going to leave um, a glass out right by my, my, sink so that first thing in the morning I can pound a bunch of water. Small thing, right? Something little, something achievable, something you can do without having to change much of your life. Then be consistent. Do it every day. Find a way to track it. Put a check mark on the calendar. Give yourself a sticker, smiley face. I don't know. Whatever makes you happy. Make sure you do it every day. Number three, celebrate. When you've done it three days in a row, hallelujah, be excited. Yay me, a little pat on the shoulders. When you've done it five days, when you've done it 10 days, celebrate every single time. I promise you, it'll be, make it an easier habit for you to um, repeat, remember, and duplicate. Um, number four, that's the easy one repeat it. <laughs> so start small, be consistent, celebrate when you do it, and then repeat it with the next step. So now that you've put your glass of water and you're drinking it every day, what's the next thing? The next step to getting you where you want to go. Maybe it's um, planning out your breakfast. So it's easy to grab. So now you're getting your glass of water and you put your breakfast in the fridge ready to go. Do it every day. Celebrate when you do it and repeat it with the next thing when you got that mastered. Piece of cake, right? Now I want you to go write down a list of goals that you want to achieve. Then I want you to go and look at the very smallest one. What's the tiniest one? Then see how much easier you can make that. What's one little thing you can do to make that one easier? And I bet you five years down the road, 10, down, 10 years down the road, you're going to be feeling like a rock star. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if it is. Shoot me a DM. Let me know um, what your goal is, where you're going to start. I would love to know. See you later.